Well, greetings and what's up to all your mothers. It is Dan Joe and Seth here. We're uh, chilling out on the set of the Farts and Crap Show uh, Studios. And um, I decided to download this demo because it just came out like the other day. And uh, it's called Ultra Age. Uh, I, I don't know anything about this. I was just like, there's a demo. You want to look at it? Seth is like, of course. And you are so, that is such an attractive and brilliant question. <laughs> just kidding. So please loosen, turn the radiator down. I am sweating balls. Balls isn't the curse word. No. No, it isn't. You're fine. No. We're, we're totally fine. Hey, I mean, Danjo, if I wanted it. backgrounds like that, where would I find them? At www.pornbackgrounds.hub. Yes. Actually, I think it's Final Fantasy XII. It is. <gasps> that not, looks... Like, not even a Final Fantasy I enjoy. That looks like the... Uh, God Eater? Yeah. A little bit. Like a cross between the God Eater and the one that you use in Xenoblade. Wow. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. What is this guitarist getting paid by the note? Well, it's awesome anyway. Yeah, I'm just trying to be critical, you know. Wait, the... deluxe edition? Oh, demo edition. I was like, how? Secretly, you've downloaded the entire game. <laughs> that would be a lovely surprise. You are now short 60 bucks. Sucks to be you. Right. Uh, let's turn the sound effects down preemptively, like I always do. Oh no. Oh no, lyrics. Do you want a HUD bleeding effect? Sure. It's okay. Just dripping. Yeah, the entire time. Uh, vibration? No. I love vibration. Why don't you do vibration? Because this controller doesn't have vibration motors. And why does it. Then why do you care? Because I don't actually remember if this has vibration <laughs> oh no the truth comes out um, all right let's launch enough yeah. menus let's launch no i need more ultra, ultra age. age loading 12 hours later <laughs> oh loading uh i would like a baseline hours. for what this is 12 hours later of two weeks before you know just like just keep jumping around just showing a single shot of an area this was gonna be earth if it wasn't for that big ass crystal right there 20 years later if i hit options what am i skipping oh the cutscene is he carrying something no is that a growth um it's a citrine is it hippopotamus maybe kind of warthog hippopotamus combo. citrine is rarely green but it's possible, I guess. Age. Oh, age is the person. You are ultra age, so you're like ultra Robert. Mmm. So he's age and I'm ultra age? Wait. Is it human age? Mmm. Why does he have a Horizon Zero Dawn shoulder pad? Because he stole it. Mmm. Is this game just going to be like Damn. plagiarism the game? Elvis. <laughs> Oh, he misses Elvis. My personal favorite um, pop star, Elvis. Did he, like, use the Dark Souls creator? Uh, okay. That's well, there's slightly, one way to find out. Make your character different. do pivot on a 360. <laughs> oh, nope, they didn't. Nope, that's how I tell. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> it's a little different. Oh, that's a nice jump animation. Do you have a glowing boot? Why do you have glowing boots? Solid question. I don't know. Something comes out of my foot when I Just jump. Just the one, though. Yeah, not my right one, just my left one. Also, my weapon is constantly clipping through my back. No, the chain your weapon is on. It just goes, wick it, wick it, wick it, wick it. Oh, that's why it glows. I'm impressed that works with the one foot. Right? Anyway. You would think it'd like launch you off to the right and just like hit something. One can hope. All right. Um, I'm trying to see if I, oh, okay. Wait a minute. They did rip off God Eater. Oh my goodness. Okay, alright, fine. Whatever. Yeah, but you're a huge fan of God Eater. You own I am, every God Eater game. I am. You're right. I'm a huge fan. 
Didn't you get whatever number five or whatever it was? Three. Three is it three? Uh huh. I don't know why, why do I keep thinking What's it's five? What's so special about that thing? Oh, uh, it's got crystals on its Elvis. back. I don't know. I'll avenge you. If it's Who's the last Elvis? Thing I do. Two years before. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we got cool technology. Oh, this is Portal Three. Okay. Got it. Is that you, Helvis? What? It still works. Helvis? Helvis. Exploration team senior agent eight. Remaining lifespan six days, twelve hours, and thirty-nine minutes. Your face might resemble Deucalion, but you lack his brains and wit, so don't let it go to your head. Did you say you have six days left to live? Yeah. Huh. Uh, no, I think the floating thing has six days left to live. But why is Deucalion in brackets? That's weird. Each time you have narrowly avoided death on a mission, you kept the underwear you were wearing as a lucky charm. Gross. Looking in the mirror before taking off on a mission. Okay. Stop. Jeez. Oh, he's like telling shit like I haven't told anybody except Helvis apparently to prove that he's Helvis it or something. So much about me. Yeah. It must be Helvis. Okay, but what was the heck Okay, but was Helvis always a robot? I don't know either. I don't think so. I must have been moved into the relic. Yep. What on earth even is that thing? Also, where did they get these voice actors? Like I could do a better age than this guy. I wonder what Medea and Decalion plan to do with this. Mm. <laughs> Why is everybody's names in brackets? Why didn't we need to focus more on those NSBs that were detected nearby? What are NSBs? Are NSBs? Non-sexual bitches. Non-sexy bitches. It seems Medea's combat. Non-sequitur bitches? Do you think we can sure. fight again? My blade broke during that last battle. In our current state. There's no way we can win if we try to take them on. This is weird voice acting. Right. <laughs> hmm. If that's the case, let's try using this crystal. It's like they forgot to get voice actors until like a couple days before like they needed the build. No, it's like they had all the voice acting done separately. Mm-hmm. Acquire energy from crystals. Oh, it's gonna be one of those kind of games. Uh okay, control input circle. Place your hands near the crystal. Uh-huh. I think I might be able to do something. Uh-huh. You think? That's concerning. Uh, so wait, why does it say interact circle before I can interact with circle? And now I can interact with... Push and hold, push and hold. Uh-huh. I'm just being a bitch because they didn't say press and hold circle. Blade that was made in a hurry has weak durability, okay. It's steel blade is weak durability? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, steel being so brittle. Square, 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 Four square, times. Square, 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 okay. square, square, square. Skill attack. I'm not going to learn this shit. Triangle, triangle, square, triangle. Uh huh. <laughs> Is it a bunch of squares and triangle at the end? Cool. Attack with powerful blade swing, control input in air. Why are they calling it control input? Nobody says that. Unleash powerful upward slash while switching blades. R1? Square, triangle, circle. Is that what it says? Cross. Does that say R1? Yeah, it's R1. Okay. And the face buttons. Break blade attack. That sounds bad. L2. Uh, will be consumed to launch an attack. Um, oh, like Breath of the Wild when you throw a thing that's almost broken at something to deal more damage. Okay. Yep. Huh? How did you make that sword? Uh, that's not what the know. thing said. It's just one of the features of this relic. But it looks like swords that are made using the crystal's energy aren't as strong as the original sword. Wait. This is idle animation checking if he stepped in poop. It would be best to make many more in advance. <clears throat> well, player, I guess we're not ones to be picky. I'm okay, sure we can use it. Head. Yeah, I want to see the one where he checked his foot again. I kind of interrupted it. Also, they're kind of ripping off a uh, near automata here a little bit. Do you mean near automata? That's exactly what I meant to say. I said the wrong one. My bad. Automata pia. Yeah. It's just I hear people say it that way, and I know it's wrong, but it's like in my head now. Use energy to restore HP. Control inputs down. I'm just oh, joking. I'm just giving you a hard time. You can say however you want, as long as I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. 
No, but it, it, that pronunciation that I said also bothers me. That's why I was like, you know, it's 12 hours remaining. Is that on the crystal? Before Is it that dies? On you? Before it recharges? Does it rebuild? Do I need to jerk off near it to recharge it fast? <laughs> Is this in game time? Out of game time? Oh. Okay, so that's how you do that. That's another oh. thing you can do. Plus 50. Wow. This is like ripping off so many games, but you know, I mean, at least the frame rate's good. Like, Jump into the, the water, I want to see what happens. All the textures look like shit, but what? at least the frame... Oh wow, that water effect is terrible. Yeah, well look behind you, it gets worse. <laughs> the water's not even moving. Ah, it's jello. I can't jump in the jello. Oh, that's a different problem. You also, fall really fast. Yeah, also there is very large invisible walls going on here. Alright, well let's follow the hallway then. There are so many crystals here. Wow, so many I'll steel blades. Well, there's nothing else to do here, so why not? I think I've absorbed all the energy in the area. Wait here for a moment. Time and try activating the crystal again. Oh. Accelerate time? Time shift. Mm hmm. Rapidly glimpse through time. Hmm. When energy is filled to the max, it will automatically be consumed. The number of times you can use time shift will increase. Hmm. Well, let's do that. Oh, I gotta press and hold. Okay, alright, fine. <gasps> The crystal's recharged. Wow. How do you recharge a crystal against steel? <laughs> so the question. What the heck is that relic? Also, I want to point out. It can even control time? You even have to hold <laughs> options to like skip something? Okay. Mm -hmm. Age. Now isn't the time to be at all. I feel like it kind of is. There is some other energy gathering. Also, that voice is bothering me already. Mm hmm. Ooh. Glowing dog like rock creature things. Oh, never mind. They're panthers. Kinda? Big cats. Kinda? Mm hmm. You know, I have in my. Drapuels. Okay, they're Drapuels. Cool name. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, in my various studies of biology, I have learned that having glowing as a predator really helps you sneak up on prey. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it means, like, you should stay away, like it's a warning sign to other animals sometimes. Yeah, but not in this case. No. Yeah. I mean, when you're an apex predator, typically it's not going to help you. Yeah. Is that what they call a cat? Best line of dialogue yet. <laughs> They're coming at us all at once. That's never mind. <laughs> There's too many things coming at once. Wow. It's like they should have taught me more about fighting other than just how to attack. No, they told you, they showed you the whole combo tree. Mm hmm. Do you have a I dodge mean, or. Roll? Yeah, they didn't say anything about that. They just told me how to do my special and how to do combos. So I'm going off of what the game taught me. Ouch. Wow, that's. You stay on the ground a long time when you get knocked down. Um. Do we have a dodger? Oh. Really? They even stole the R2, like, slight dash from Nier Automata? Wow. Would you say that Nier Automata is a good game or a bad game? I'd say it's one of the best games made in the last 10 years. They did the second one fairly recently, didn't they? No, no, it's the it's the prequel. It's a remake. Uh, which one is it? Is it a prequel? Or a uh, it's a remake of... Uh, it's the prequel, but it's a remake of the prequel. Okay. It's, you should go to those yeah. blue crystals and get more health, too. Yeah, they did say 12 hours. That's true. Near Replicant is also really good, but um, that's the name of the remake. But um, it kind of shows its age a little bit. More than Near Automata? Oh, way more. Yeah. Because it was made in like 2010 or something. But it was for the tenth anniversary of Nier. Did you see that they were actually uh, making 
Did you see that they're making the newer one and it's Far Automata? No, <laughs> uh, I thought it was called Near Far. Near Far? <laughs> Wherever you are. <laughs> okay. Saw that coming too. Okay, uh, absorb the energy of purple to craft module it contains. Oh. Also, the terrible grammar in this game is starting to really bother me. Like, between the bad grammar, the bad voice acting, like, the really shitty looking textures everywhere. Your character overall design kind of reminds me of the second Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's almost teenage Sora bad, yeah. Yeah. I'm also unsure how old your character is supposed to be, because mm -hmm. his face looks 14. It does look like they straight up took the animation of the R2 Dodge and Nier Tom said though. Like some of the some of the Why some is it in brackets the, though? I have no idea. It looks like it's still working. Let me see if it can be used. You know, for a game this not intriguing, you can't have this much nonsensical bullshit. Why is the robot sometimes blue and sometimes red? Yeah. I think just danger, probably. That's a radioactive crystal. You found uranium. Data will be saved automatically. Oh, okay, cool. So instead of giving me cancer, it's gonna save my game. Elvis, is there any I can't get over the fact his name is Elvis. Yeah. It would be yeah. if we could contact Urcalion directly or teleport to him. We can teleport? Two brackets the names? You think a new function will just pop out of me because you asked? <gasps> well, you're Elvis. Yes. What? I wasn't even close. Hmm. What would be helpful in this situation? I don't know, reading your lines? I'm detecting some very powerful energy in the depths of the forest. With that amount of energy, there's a good chance that it's a spaceship. Or a lot of enemies. Really? Well, did we have spaceships in God Eater? No choice. Kind of no. No. I just wanted ghost dinosaurs, but I never get what I want. Mm. You can improve the blade's ability by consuming crystal fragments. Why would I improve a blade that's going to break soon? Hell, this can be... Okay, so I can either enhance my friend or a sword that's going to break. Well, let's see on what those, part, what those enhancements are. How are you to activate various skills? I can't get over the fact that it's age and Helvis. Yeah. Material is required to upgrade age's equipment. Well, I haven't seen one of those yet. So I guess we can't do anything here. So it's not that you're actually upgrading the blade, it's that you're upgrading the attacks for the blade. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um. Oh, look! Oh, it's one of those things that I need to upgrade things. It definitely doesn't look like a Saiyan pod from Dragon Ball Z. Everything looks like a Saiyan pod to you if it's spherical. Fun story for all you at home. We had uh, we were celebrating Christmas, and for three days, Dan just sat in a Christmas tree, pointed at every round ornament, and went, That's a Saiyan pod. That's a Saiyan pod. That's a Saiyan pod. That's a Saiyan pod from Dragon Ball GT. That's a Saiyan pod from Dragon Ball R. That's a Saiyan pod from Dragon Ball AF. Where are you going? No, I'm just also noting that um, the whole, like, keep holding R2 after you dodge to run, and even the run cycle, it looks like it was stolen from Nier Automata. Like, it's the same mechanic and right, it's well, the start same going animation. Forward, at least. Why, when this game refuses to do the same thing? <laughs> wow. You're being a little... Yeah, you're you're, you're I'm, 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 You're I'm, salty. I'm a little, a little bit. Yeah. I'm a little bit. But I mean, there's just so many stolen ideas in this game, but they're executed so poorly, it's kind of amazing. What's that? A crystal wall? Like, usually if you copy off of your neighbor's paper, like, you get a similar grade to your neighbor. So if you copy a great game, like Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact obviously ripped off Breath of the Wild, but it didn't hurt the popularity of the game. Because if you copy a really great game, you might have a decent game at least, you know. The path is blocked. What should we do? 
This might have to happen when the NSB power source That's an NSB NSB issue. Issue. If we want to break that down, we need a sword made using energy with the same property. Not the word you Then we have to find the same type of energy first. Mm. Isn't, but if you need that energy, why don't you take that energy because you can take energy from crystals? Mm hmm. Continuity is a bitch, ain't it? That's alright. Mm -hmm. This is why I avoid. Never mind. <laughs> can you believe I had never heard of this game before today? Didn't <laughs> this game just come out, though? <laughs> no, this is a demo. It's not out yet. Yikes. Mm hmm. Ferocious. This one is ferocious. Oh no, that energy is nearby. Hey, you forgot also, to heal in between. Yeah, I get up, get up, get up, I, get up, I, get up, get up. definitely forgot. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you can lock on. That would have been helpful. Thanks for telling me, game. Also, the game still hasn't told me about evading or running. I just happened to press all the buttons. I'm appreciative of the butt metal, though. Mm hmm. Same. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's a whip thing? Another thing the game didn't tell me about. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a kink. As opposed to a fetish. Also, why does the thing say 12 now on the. They even stole, like, the flashy, like, perfect dodge from Nier Automata. It's the exact same mechanic. You can perfect dodge in Nier Automata? Yeah. If you, if you hit the dodge thing at the exact right time, it does like this thing where you flash and time slows down. Literally the same animation and effect that they used here. I saw that in Let's Plays. I didn't realize I could do that. I'm not very good at video games sometimes. It's alright. Good at other things. Like staying close to this radiator. Ah. Actually, some video games I do quite well. It's just others. Oh yeah. Kick my ass in Wizards of Legend. Uh, that wasn't hard. I looked like a toddler. That wasn't hard though. I was half. I was kind of conscious for that. <laughs> yep. And uh, you don't do roguelites. No, not typically. Okay. I just also like to point out when I did my heavy attack earlier, it just glanced off of it, and when I did it right there, it dealt heavy damage, and there was no indication of like what I did right and what I did wrong. Well, I want to try to get the perfect dodge again so people can... Yes, please. Hold on, just, just come at me for a sec, bro. Oh, that was too early. No. Nah. Oh, that wasn't an attack, apparently. That was late. Oh, my goodness. Maybe. Where? Oh. Okay, that was late. There we go, just like that. Oh, look at that. The exact same animation. So it's the same as Bayonetta. <laughs> yes. Which was also made by Platinum Games, so that is not uh, plagiarism. Those loot all nearby enemy low in period control and put left. Cool. Near low import of low importance. Mm hmm If it's important, you gotta get yourself. Dude. Oh, so this is of high importance. So this is not a time to really like use that thing that they just told me. Great, dude. Even uh -huh. happy people aren't that happy. Take it's it down a notch, Elvis. <laughs> the enemy size katana. Oh, really? Smash square again? No way. Oh, okay. Can we already see this? Uh huh. Yeah, jump skill. This has a jump skill. Amazing. Yeah, uh-huh. So it's a weapon. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you're gonna give me the same weapon tutorial with different screenshots. Yep. Thanks, game. I actually think they used Bayonetta to work out a lot of the kinks of their animating beef uh, for Nier Automata. Oh yeah. For sure. For sure. Um So can you do this limited amount of times? I think unlimited. Yeah. Um. So what? If you walk through plants, oh. to the. Can you walk through some plants? I want to see something. Oh, how there's no physics applied to most of oh, them. Oh, oh, it's worse. Yeah. They jump bad. and skitter. It's like you're in a dream. Look at that. Wow. And they're running at a different frame rate when they do their animations. Yeah. Like a much lower frame rate. <laughs> it's kind of like dreamy. It's like a dream sequence. Not a good kind of dream sequence. Or that bad trip when I drank too much radiator fluid. 
I'll get you water, Seth. It's just like... Wait a minute. Hold on. Can you jump? Oh, that's yes, right. You can. Have... That's right. You have the one boot. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, look. It's an air automata thing. Well, no, no, no. I was trying to see if I could do the air dodge thing like an air near automata, but... No, you can't. It's fine. You yeah. can't do that in the beginning of that game either. It's a skill. Is it? I can't remember. You'll get to dodge it, but it's a skill. Switching blades. Uh, switching the blades using an attack using a control input L1 or R1? No, Wait. R1 or R1 plus square triangle. Oh, like you can just tap R1. Mm hmm. Okay. Did he say katana? Yeah. Wow. That's how I pronounce it. Just like when I want some tacos. Some tackles. I love tackles on a tortilla. Oh, oh. it's not like. Wait, what? I keep going. Um. Weird. Let's not. Anyway, this is a game that you guys should probably avoid, but unless they make some major leaps and bounds before they release date. Yeah, this is. The writing is bad. They clearly are ripping off a lot of different games that are much better. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's one of the weapons in Code Vein that he's holding right there. Oh, it is! Now that you mention it. Yeah. Can I also say that I love how all of your weapons have like that chain that you used to keep on your wallet? Mm-hmm. Yep. Like Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> yeah, can we talk about everyone's obsession with chain wallets? on their blades. I mean, we could, but I mean, how much more can you say about it? Um, also, I'm a big fan of menus, but these menus are n a bunch of nonsensical bullshit. Like, I don't feel like I'm navigating, I feel like I'm fumbling around, like, hoping to find the thing I'm looking for. Well, go to help. No, you go to help. No, I said help. <laughs> With my plosive. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be very helpful. I mean, about as helpful as somebody that doesn't have a very good mastery of the uh, language that they're trying to communicate in is helpful. Anyway, no offense, Next Stage Inc., Visual Dark Co., or Lin... Yeah, no offense, guys, but... It just says um, all rights reserved. You're not... <laughs> no, that's the other company. Um, Freaking anesthetized testicles over here is struggling to read. Yeah. Um, that was fancy speak for numb nuts. Yes, I gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, I I would I would avoid this game, guys. I mean, if you, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. That's cool. But um, they're clearly ripping off a lot of other games that have already done things much better. Some of them being these. But, um, yeah, uh, we're going to yes, go. Yes, I could definitely tell what all those were. <laughs> like Drawful 2. They ripped off Drawful 2. They did. Somehow, I'm sure they did. By using the English language. But, anyway, we're going to go. Uh, our food's ready. So, have a good one, everybody. I can smell um, it from here. Can you? Yes. Did I? Oh, I did delete it. Okay, good. It was only four gigabytes, but that's four gigabytes I would like to have back. So, um, Ultra Age. It's probably not going to be good. Four out of ten. Mm -hmm. I've definitely played worse, but there's a lot better. Indeed. Indeed. Um, yeah. And uh, whoever did the voice acting for that... Let us know in the comment section, like, how the hell did you get that gig? Also, did you do it for the experience and not get paid? Because that's kind of the vibe I got. So, you know how, um, when you're doing, uh, voice acting, a lot of the time, if you're following up someone, they'll play that other person's line first, so you know kind of what you're responding to? Mm-hmm. I feel like they didn't do that. And to then, read and they... somebody in? Yeah, yeah. To read someone in, and I feel like they did it out of order, and that's why it was because it sounded all like just one takes over and over again, where they were isolated takes. Mm. Is what it felt like to me. And they were chopped together. Yeah. Mhm. Mm like they just gave them like a list of like here's all the lines in the game. Mhm. Mm and then 
They're like, oh, don't worry, we'll just throw them together in editing later. It's easier to do that yeah, way. Yeah, they all sounded like isolated takes rather than yeah. working it through. Yeah. I mean, typically you want the voice actors to be, like, familiar with each other and, like, actually treat it like a performance where you go through the lines and be like, oh, well, this is this and this and this is why these lines are motivated and this is kind of what this character would be feeling to make it believable. Um, the other key part for believable is that it's often the visuals are done before voice acting mm -hmm. and yeah. oftentimes before soundtrack. Soundtrack is often usually one of the la later things that you mm -hmm. do, but it feels like they didn't have a visual cue as to what scenario they were responding in. Mm -hmm. it, it feels blind yeah and sometimes i know they only have a script to go on mm -hmm. where they'll like they haven't seen the game but they at least like know what's happening mm -hmm. but i feel like with this game maybe it was so nonsensical that they're just like okay bullshit 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 my line bullshit 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 my line bullshit bullshit mm -hmm. bullshit my line so like uh, i don't have anything to go on and sometimes like depending on the developer and publisher you have no contact with anybody to help with context. Um, other than so... that, there needs to be a little bit more work on the localization and language barrier. It becomes a problem mm -hmm. in certain areas. But also, yeah. the visual word subtitles, that's what they're called, mm -hmm. are not matching up with what's being said. And that's a personal pet peeve of mine. But, yeah. you know. And for a new, for a new IP, because I... I don't know if that game is based on a book or any other kind of piece of media, but um, for something that's new to like 99% of the people that are expected to buy the game, you kind of need to set the stage a little bit better, especially with the demo, which is essentially supposed to be your pitch for people buying the game. Like, you kind of need to make sense of a brand new concept really quick. And I don't think they did that at all. Like, they're like, oh, hell this. All the proper names are in brackets. We're on a planet. Why? I don't know. Got a sword. Cool. I'm on the ground. Now I'm not. We're going over here. Absorbing crystals. Passing time. Doing all this shit. It's like, okay. They're just borrowing a ton of ideas where people are like, oh, this will feel familiar for gamers. It's like, yeah, it all feels familiar. It feels so familiar. It feels stolen. And it all feels completely unmotivated. Like, just they just copied a bunch of ideas from other games that were kind of successful or good. Without also, any rhyme or reason. Also, localization department needs to work on their names because age is just a weird... Yeah, that's not, a, that's not a name at all. Whereas some of the other ones sound like maybe made up sort of yeah. names that are in some kind of thing. But it doesn't... Because names do work differently in other languages, of course, but that's uh -huh. part of the localization process. Also, Helvis mm -hmm. is weird. Yeah, very strange. Um, anyway, that's our thoughts. Yeah, there's no point of reference for anything. Like it just, it feels like a bunch of shit just slapped together. Like when you get so frustrated with like a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle, and you just start hammering things into place that look like they should go there. Um. But it's like they're doing that with every piece. And so it just makes it look like a giant pile of crap that you are going to throw away later instead of putting back into the box. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go. Um, so thank you guys for being here. Uh, let us know what you guys think of another A... Wait, that's not the name of that. That's Ultra the, Age. Ultra Age. Another Age is the subtitle for Armored Core 2, uh, the second chapter. And Anyway, uh, thanks to these awesome people. And thanks to you awesome people. And we'll see some or, you know, whatever. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.